and welcome. Today we will be talking about travel pictures, how to get good travel pictures of people. Memories that last forever. Picture the scene, you are on holiday and having a wonderful time. You want to document the moment for prosperity. The best way is to take a picture. There are a few simple rules to travel photography that will allow you to capture those special moments in the very best way possible. Have the subject's permission. If you find an interesting subject and want to take his or her picture, it is not only inconsiderate, but can actually go against somebody's belief or faith if you don't get their permission first, especially if you are capturing their face. Lighting. To shoot a good picture, light is very important. Unless you are shooting a child when using a flashlight shining from below, really can capture a child beautifully. But this technique is not flattering on all the subjects. Soft lighting is the key. If they are indoors, then daylight coming from a window or light coming from a reflector works best. If shooting outside, it is still advisable to use a little fill flash on the face. Or if possible, use a reflector. Gold ones give a warmer light. If you want to add character to a portrait, then using a shadow can add a mystical quality. Choosing a lens. When choosing a lens, using an 80 to 100 tele lens or zoom works best for most portraits and helps get rid of unflattering details. When using a wide angle lens, be sympathetic because this type of lens can really distort a face and really make someone's nose appear quite large. Angles. Composition of a picture from an elevated position may be dramatic, but the general rule is to hold the camera at the same height as your subject's head. Also take your subject into account, as shooting from the front with the subject's nose straight into the lens can make a big nose smaller, whilst making a small nose larger can be achieved by shooting from a slight angle. The depth of field. In most cases, you do not want the background to distract from the subject. If you use a tele lens, it reduces the depth of field. Just take a look at this picture shown here. You can reduce the field further if you shorten the exposure time and have a wider aperture. Many very good portraits only show the most important part of the face, usually the eyes in focus. Filters. Even if you want to experiment with filters, I would still recommend taking a few unfiltered shots first. Then use those as a starting point as a guide to following photos. Filters can help achieve the right look by softening or warming the light. Today though, a lot can be done at home if you have the right software package. And there are several free ones that can be easily downloaded off the web for free. In conclusion, overall there is a lot to consider. It is always important to have your camera at the ready as the moment can pass by very quickly and if you aren't prepared you can miss a great shot. Always be considerate of your surroundings and cultures and make sure taking a picture is appropriate. In some cultures they believe taking someone's picture means you capture their soul too. Learn digitalphotographynow.com your guide to digital photography. Taking beautiful pics made simple. Tips on how to use a digital camera like a pro and an insider look at the latest digital cameras. To get a free digital photography report of your very own, please head on over to learndigitalphotographynow.com.